when Bill Gates gave us the Windows operating system he introduced ordinary people to the use of computers, without them having to be a technical expert. When making a digital video on your computer, you too, need a system that will help you organize the components of your movie into one place, so that you can have convenient access to it, without the need to be an expert. This is so you can store all your bits and pieces and access them so that you can efficiently work on your video, without technical distractions. This system needs to be easy to understand and easy to use. Rather than reinvent the wheel I have used the existing knowledge and created a movie maker's filing system using Windows. I call it my video file tree, and it is the core of your video creation process. The beauty of this system is, that it is very simple and you can change it to suit yourself if you want to, or you can just use the template that I have created. I'll show you how to rename files and change icons a little later but let me just preface my comments with the following statement. Firstly, the fact that you are viewing this right now means that you have demonstrated some, if not all the skills that you need to use this simple user-friendly operating system. Secondly, relax, it is not hard if you keep pace with what is being said. If you get lost you can rewind this video and play the section over again, as many times as you like. My years as a workplace trainer taught me that first, you must tell your students what it is you are going to teach them, then you teach them what it is you are going to teach them, then you explain to them that you have taught them what it is you set out to teach them. This is not gobbledygook, it is quite profound in its simplicity, and it works. So you get three bites of the cherry. Even the most brilliant students appreciate this simple training technique. Thirdly, video making on a PC requires organization. You have several sets of skills to bring together. There is your artistic creation, the editing of your wonderful work and posting the final director's cut of your video. The components of these three main areas needs to be stored in a place on your computer that keeps them safe, and allows you sensible and non-confusing access. This is the file tree. Later I'll explain how you get your script, video clips, music, voiceovers and special effects into the folders in your file tree, but for now, it is all about creating a file tree and placing it in a safe place on your computer. The file tree is more than just script documents, and it is more than music, and more than pictures it is all of these plus more. So where do we put the file tree? Well, the answer is simple. We put it in the video file on the standard Windows interface. The way it works is this. Firstly you have a master copy of the file tree, stored in your video file. When you make a new video, you copy this master file and paste it in your video file. Then you rename it. So now you have your master file, and a new file ready for use. The new file has a different name, usually associated with the subject matter of the video. It is that simple. The master file tree is for future videos and the copy is for the one you are working on now. Both files are stored in your video file. Some movie makers prefer to keep the current project they are working on stored on the desktop, but it doesn't matter just so long as the integrity of your master file is maintained and your current projects have distinctive names. In the next video on the file tree, I'll show you how to manipulate files and their content. It is all about becoming familiar with creating and using paths. Surprisingly enough, this is called pathing, and it is the key to good file management. I think you get the idea that organizing your files is the secret to success in making videos. As a PC user you have to wear so many different hats during the production process and it can become a tragic loss of time and space and valuable brain power if you are not organized. The file tree will help you. In the meantime perhaps you could just go over this video and make sure you understand the basics. Oh and by the way, I am using the file tree management system to make this very video to prove that it works. So I'll leave it here and see you in the next video. Bye for now.